Okay, you have uh, recorded your macros, you've given them names, keyboard shortcuts, you've saved your documents as a DOCM file, a DOCM file, all good, 100%, great, but then you, like, further down the line, you open up your document and you can't remember what the keyboard shortcut was. You can't remember like what macros did you actually record for this document. So what do you do? Well, you don't panic, all right? You go to your developer tab, you go to the code section over there, and you see over here, there's a button that says macros. Well, let's have a look. So you click on macros, and that will show you the macros that are inside this document. If you see a whole bunch of macros, okay, like this, and you're like, I do not remember recording all of these, don't freak out, it's right here, okay, because it says macros in, and not all active templates and documents, just the one you're working in, if that's the one you saved your macros in, okay, which is what I did. So just this document. And here I can see, oh, here they are. Here are all the macros I created. There's my insert text one. And I can see it inserts a line of text. There, insert table, inserts a basic table. Do you see why giving the macro a name and giving it a description is very important? So then it helps you see, okay, that's what that macro does. If you just call it macro one and don't give it a description, how do you even know what it does? All right. So if you'd like to run a macro, you just click on run and then it runs that macro for you.